There are around 20,000 manholes in New Orleans, and now doctors say beneath them lies the evidence of how much COVID is spreading in the city. In fact, they may hold the answer as to what happened during Mardi Gras. Meg Ferris explains. When it comes to health decisions and policies, New Orleans will use new measures to track COVID, shifting away from raw numbers of cases, moving towards community risk level and strain on the hospitals. And now there's also another type of COVID testing that has nothing to do with the nose or mouth. It has to do with the sewage we all generate. Tulane University and LSU both have done it on their campuses, and those have been really interesting. It's, it's a really useful tool for a college, especially if you can sample every dorm, then you can figure out which dorm is starting to go up. You can test that whole dorm and you can stop it from spreading. When you saw a trend at a certain dorm, people could isolate sooner and would that slow the spread down? But yes, it made a huge difference in controlling the outbreaks. You see, genetic material from the virus that causes COVID is in your body and, well, excreted a couple of days before you feel sick with respiratory symptoms. So the wastewater is kind of like the poisonous gas warning from the canary in the coal mine. You can track this over time and see spikes in the number of uh, viral particles and with that it prompts action to go in and get tested. And thanks to our partners at LDH, HHS and the Sewage and Water Board, we've begun broad wastewater surveillance which will prove key in the future to spotting the early warning signs of another outbreak. A wastewater sample in Orleans Parish was taken as parades were starting two weeks ago. The second the next Tuesday, and counts went down. Now, those numbers aren't a perfect prediction since infected people each shed different volumes of virus particles. So in the next week's test, the city will look for the trend upward or downward. I'll make it very clear. We do expect future waves of disease. The focus is now shifting to managing outbreaks while preserving healthcare capacity. But so far, there's a low percent of positivity. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. They will not test different neighborhoods individually. They're doing two tests, one on the East Bank, the other on the West Bank.